What's up guys? So today we got 4th of July TJ Yeldon 99 overall dual style long pass speed run style. 6 foot 1, 97 speed, 95 agility, 94 ball carry, 99 juke, 91 truck, 100 carry, 98 excel, and 99 elusiveness. Also has 88 catch and a very surprising 89 stiff arm. You know, that's kind of low for a 99 uh, running back. But anyways, he looks so similar on paper to Le'Veon Bell. Same height, same speed, very similar stats. So that's who I was going to be comparing him to this whole review. So as you can see right here, uh, 98 Excel and 97 speed, man. Very deadly. Can definitely stop on a dime and go in the other direction. And, you, you know, right here, see what I'm saying? You can just bob and weave left and right and just take off. So trust me, man, 97 speed, 98 Excel, a deadly combo. As far as stiff arming and trucking, you know, I definitely struggled with stiff arming. I got a few drags, a few bump offs, but that's really about it. Did not really get much else. You know, definitely got tackled on the first hit a lot when I tried to stiff arm. As far as trucking, you know, he was a bit better, but not by much. So power back, I don't think is a good option. Now, as far as juking, man, he does have 99 juke. And as you can see here, man, it absolutely shows on the field. And I almost made this, you know, like his best quality, but there is something technically that he did do a teeny tiny bit better but trust me man no doubt juking is absolutely a great thing to do with him so if you're one of those guys who likes to use his running back with juking and you know turning him into an elusive back man or not bell <laughs> tj yeldon is an absolute monster at juking now i remember bell was amazing at breaking tackles so i was hoping that he would be just as good but honestly it wasn't you know, Bell to me is still the best at breaking tackles, and TJ Yeldon was somewhat okay. He was like a B plus, and Bell was like an A plus. So believe me, he will break some tackles on his own uh, here and there, but don't expect it to be at the same level as Bell. Running up the middle was so much fun with with uh, TJ Yeldon. 97 speed, you know, you can just bob and weave your way through, go left and right, and just get ex extra yards like that. Or you can just run in a straight line, lower your shoulders, fall forward for a few extra yards. You might even truck one or two people. You know once in a while so running up the middle as you can see here was a lot of fun and of course like i said like right there just go left and right serpentine your way through and get yards that way he does have 88 catch so very unlikely that he's going to drop a wide open pass like these right here where he's got to step on the linebacker or a corner or whoever it is but he did drop a few in traffic when the linebacker or corner or whoever it may have been was you know close enough to get the animation where they smacked the ball out of his hands so wasn't too dependable in traffic unfortunately but wide open no problem now he only took like five or six hit sticks and you would think he would rarely fumble if ever but surprisingly he did fumble once out of only like five hit sticks so keep your eye on that when it comes to uh, hit sticks with Yeldon. Now he did go down the first hit a few times, did have a few bad plays but honestly like I said before where he struggled the most unfortunately was the stiff arm so I would avoid that part of his game. Now to my surprise what he did best in my opinion was spinning. I mean. You would think with 96 spin and 99 juke, juking would be what he did best. But from what I saw, spinning was the most effective way to use him. Now, if you're one of those guys who likes to use their running backs as an elusive back, man, TJ Yeldon is the guy for you. And it got to the point, honestly, where I did not even want to juke or, or you know, stiff arm or truck or anything like that. The only thing I wanted to do with him was just spin and spin and spin. And as you can see here, man, I had a lot of success with it. So... If you pick up TJ Yeldon, of course, man, you can use him however you want to. You can spin, juke, whatever. But honestly, I think that spinning is his best attribute. And of course, 97 speed mixed in is not a bad thing. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this review. My final thoughts, do I think he's worth 150000 I feel like maybe he's worth 100000 And I'm not sure if he's a top 5 back because of how much he struggled with the stiff arm. But, you know, I feel absolutely at least a top 10 back because of that nasty spin move he had. Now, anyways, guys. My next review should be Lloyd Malloy. That should be coming out tonight, hopefully. And on offense, once again, I'm not sure who I'm going to review. Drop in the comments. I'll make a decision based off of that. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you boys for that Malloy review. Peace.